And it's really no secret there's a teacher shortage in our state, but it's also happening across the country. And that problem includes getting enough special ed teachers, but a partnership between APS, CNM, and the teachers union aims to change that. So here's a look at the special ed teacher training program. Alicia Lopez is a special ed teacher at Albuquerque High School. Before the pandemic, I was working in a brewery, but my education is actually in fine arts. So for a while, I'd been considering going back to school to get a master's in our education. Then the pandemic hit and a friend let her know about the special ed teacher training program. I was going to apply for it right before, you know, um, I'd been considering to apply for it before uh, COVID hit and then I was laid off from my job and that gave me a lot of time to kind of get my stuff together to apply for it. So it ended up being really good timing. Now she teaches special ed, study skills and language arts with high school students of all grades. I'm by myself in the classroom. I just have my mentor teacher who I meet with twice a month. But this wasn't always the case. In fact, this program is all about making sure teachers have the resources to succeed. But if you're considering a career in teaching, like there has never been a better time to support your community. Here's how it works. People with a bachelor's degree take classes through CNM while co-teaching with an experienced teacher. Full pay and benefits are included. Starting salary is now $50,000. The master teacher continues to provide support along with the special ed resource department, along with APS mentoring for the next year and a half. So these folks, once they get their year of immersion, then they jump into their own classrooms and this support continues for them for another year. The way it works is you teach for four days and then you get one day off to um, take your classes. Anybody who still needs assistance with, with tuition, APS has committed to paying that for this program. There's a three-year commitment to APS. So far, 66 teachers are taking part and the application is now open to accept almost 30 more. So it's a positive thing from what, from a district standpoint. It is very very appealing because they, there's financial support. They pay for the program. Whereas when I was looking at getting a master's in fine arts, I would have had to take out more student loans and I'm already in a significant amount of student loan debt. So I was able to still get my teaching license without you know, taking out more loans. For Lopez, this decision is also personal. I have two kids. I have a 14 year old who's in middle school and then I have a five year old who's in preschool. Her youngest is getting speech therapy for an articulation delay. Her oldest was diagnosed with dyslexia when he was in second grade. It's been really wonderful to see that progression of like not knowing how to read and it being very frustrating to being a really, you know, proficient reader and he, he really enjoys reading now. In both cases, great teachers noticed and intervened. Now, Lopez can do the same for other kids too. It's been a really great experience to see um, students grow over even just a short period of time. So if you'd like to apply, the deadline is June 1st. We've got details on our website, kob.com. Just click on four links.